we've identified basically five best practices as the, the Yahoo Real Estate team has managed um, distributed development in Bangalore. Um, number one, um, from a communication perspective, we are very disciplined about how we communicate from the U.S. to, to Bangalore. Uh, we meet twice a week, that's it. Um, because from a lifestyle perspective, no one wants to be kind of up all night, right? Um, and so we, we're, we're really disciplined about uh, how often we meet. One thing that guides those meetings is we have pre-planned, written agendas that cover exactly what we're going to do in those meetings. And that really helps kind of our, our efficiency. Number two, and, and this is um, definitely a softer thing, but we've created personal connections. Um, and there's, there's definitely a lighter side of, of the relationship between um, our, our PMs here and, and the, the Bangalore engineers, and I think that's ultimately led to trust. Um, the third thing is that uh, we have a very disciplined product planning process. Um, we do releases every three weeks. Um, we do very detailed written planning uh, where we rank order um, our list of items. We create tickets. We make sure the designs are done. We eliminate the dependencies, and then engineering can actually um, kind of take up a lot of the items on, a, on an every three basis. But it, it takes an upfront planning process to actually um, kind of make that make that efficient. We also work what we call a plan of record, which are our big projects. Um, this is traditionally more of a waterfall model, um, where engineering and, and design and, and, and product are are uh, collaborating on these kind of bigger projects. Uh, we rank order those, we prioritize them, and then we collaborate. Um, one thing uh, that, that we do, um, and, and we could probably do a better job of this, but I think, I think it's important, is, is we do rely on some buffer time. Um, there are things that come up you know, that are unpredictable or unknown items and that have to get done. And if you kind of plan on everyone working at 100%, and, and not kind of allow some flexibility, I think that, that, that hurts. And so I think we do a pretty good job of making trade-offs on, on buffer time. And the last thing is, is we did have a U.S. and Bangalore engineering team, and there are I think, a couple of things that we did well here. Um, number one, we gave ownership very discreetly to one team or another over the big projects so that they could own it kind of A to Z. Um, one team owned the maintenance process. Uh, so there, there wasn't this kind of constant back and forth and interdependencies between the teams. Uh, kept everyone sane. And, and, and we really tried to um, minimize the, the kind of day-to-day -day between the engineering teams. And rather than create rival teams, uh, we, we, we tried to make them complementary. And, and, and those are the, the, the things I think we've done well.